animals can truly be astonishing, as evidenced by this incredible story about a dog that ventured into the forest daily, leading her owner to a shocking discovery. Let's delve into the tale. B.J. Duffy cherished his life on Vashon Island, a sprawling and picturesque locale brimming with lush greenery and breathtaking landscapes. He enjoyed a fulfilling career and was surrounded by a close circle of friends. However, B.J. longed for a loyal companion to share his life with. Someone who would offer him unconditional love, that's when he decided to adopt Tilly, an adorable Irish setter spaniel mix puppy, BJ and Tilly quickly settled into a comfortable life together. Tilly, a laid-back dog by nature, loved lounging on the sofa and accompanying BJ wherever possible. Unfortunately, the one place she couldn't accompany him was to his office. Leaving Tilly at home each day was a heart-wrenching routine for BJ, although Tilly seemed content to relax at home, still. The thought of her alone tugged at his heartstrings. Determined to improve the situation, BJ scoured his area for doggy daycares and discovered a remarkable facility that not only took in foster dogs but also private dogs whose owners were busy. The daycare was a haven for dogs, staffed by exceptional caretakers who provided a stimulating environment filled with activities and cozy nap spots. It was the perfect place for Tilly to socialize and enjoy her days while BJ was at work for years. This arrangement worked wonderfully, however, a sudden change in Tilly's behavior was noticeable. She began to whine when BJ came to pick her up, seemingly reluctant to leave, curious and concerned. BJ decided to enter the daycare to understand her signals. It was there he learned that Tilly had formed a deep bond with Phoebe, an outgoing and adventurous basset hound, despite their contrasting personalities. Tilly and Phoebe had become inseparable friends from the moment Phoebe arrived at the daycare. The bond was so strong that when BJ discovered Phoebe was a foster dog without a permanent home, he couldn't bear the thought of separating the two. Touched by their friendship and quickly falling for the charming basset hound himself, BJ made a heartwarming decision. He adopted Phoebe, uniting the trio into a happy, loving family. It was a beautiful outcome for all. Proving once again the incredible and profound bonds that animals can form, it was evident that there was only one course of action, Phoebe was coming home with them. Now, the two dogs would become sisters, with Tilly resuming her role as the caretaker of the pair. Their spacious backyard offered ample room for exploration, which Phoebe adored, spending hours playing in the open space. Tilly, on the other hand, had a preference for lounging on the couch. Although she would spring into action and follow Phoebe whenever her younger sister dashed off, ensuring she stayed out of mischief, this protective behavior was heartwarming, and BJ, their owner, was thrilled to have both dogs, his job was flourishing, and he felt inspired to host a party for his co-workers, knowing well that his dogs were an integral part of his household and would be a hit at the event. BJ's home was a welcoming place for the dogs and he had no intention of confining them during the party. They adored social gatherings, thriving on the attention and affection from the guests. As people arrived in groups, the dogs were ecstatic, reveling in the extra pats and scratches. Throughout the evening, BJ kept an eye on the dogs, ensuring they weren't overwhelming his guests. But it turned out everyone enjoyed the company of the well-behaved canines. The dogs exhibited exemplary manners not begging for food or obstructing the flow of the party, which made BJ proud. As the party wound down, BJ decided to reward his dogs with some treats for their good behavior. However, when he called for them, shaking their favorite snack bottle, they didn't respond. Panic began to set in as BJ realized his dogs were nowhere to be found. A frantic search ensued, both inside his home and throughout the yard. But there was no sign of Phoebe or Tilly, considering the constant guest movement. BJ suspected that the door had been inadvertently left open, and the adventurous Phoebe, followed loyally by Tilly, had ventured out. Given Phoebe's curious nature and Tilly's protective instincts, BJ knew they might seize the chance to explore. Tilly, at 11 years old, took her role as the big sister very seriously, especially when it came to keeping four-year-old Phoebe safe. BJ immediately set out to find them, believing they couldn't have strayed too far, but despite his hopes. They had vanished, desperate, BJ enlisted the help of his friends and party guests to search, but to no avail, lacking a personal social media presence, BJ asked his friends to spread the word online, hoping to alert everyone on the island to keep an eye out for the missing dogs, there were a few sightings reported, but nothing concrete, the search for Phoebe and Tilly grew into a community-wide effort, as everyone hoped for a safe return of the beloved dogs. 
BJ had been tirelessly searching for his missing dogs for five days, with no luck. In a bid to widen the search, the Vashon Island Pet Protectorate, a local non-profit dedicated to rescuing pets, stepped in to assist. They posted images of the dogs across their social media platforms, calling on the community to report any sightings. Their efforts paid off a day later when a local man contacted them, claiming a dog resembling Tilly had been visiting his yard for several days. Despite his attempts to approach her, the dog always fled into the nearby forest. Confused by her behavior but spurred by the social media post, the man suspected the visitor might indeed be Tilly. However, there was no sign of Phoebe, the other missing dog. Upon hearing the news, BJ, accompanied by a rescue team, rushed to the man's property, adjacent to the forest where Tilly had been spotted. They scoured the area, calling out for Tilly and Phoebe, but to no avail. Just as they were searching through a ravine, they heard a dog cry. Tilly emerged, her appearance igniting a rush of relief and joy in BJ. Overcome with emotion, he called out to her, but instead of coming to him, Tilly darted back into the woods. It became clear that Tilly had been trying to lead them to something urgent, something she had tried to communicate during her previous visits to the man's house. This time, BJ and the team followed her, determined to understand her message. After a tense search, they found her lying on a concrete wall next to a cistern, their hearts sank with the fear of what might be inside, but as they looked, they discovered it wasn't as dire as they had feared. Inside the cistern, amidst a pile of concrete rubble, was Phoebe. Thankfully, the rubble had prevented her from falling into the water, keeping her safe. With relief and urgency, they rescued Phoebe from the cistern. Finally, BJ could reunite with both of his beloved dogs. His relief palpable as he embraced them, the community's collaborative effort and the resilience of Tilly, who had persistently sought help, had brought about a happy ending to a harrowing ordeal. BJ lavished his dogs with an abundance of love, especially during the rare moments when Tilly left her sister's side to seek help. Despite their ordeal, both dogs were found to be hungry and thirsty, yet remained relatively healthy. After rescuing them, BJ brought them home and treated them to a special meal a gesture of relief and celebration for their safe return. Understanding the gravity of the situation and determined to prevent future mishaps, BJ promptly ordered two GPS tracking collars for his beloved pets. He was resolute in his decision to ensure that they would never face such a perilous situation again, as the dogs recuperated from their harrowing experience. They received not only plenty of love but also special treatment to aid their recovery. Tilly, in particular, was recognized for her bravery and quick thinking. Her actions earned her a spot on Milkbone's prestigious list of dogs who changed the world. This accolade was a testament to her heroic deeds, marking her as a true hero whose story would be known by all. After watching this story, how do you feel about it? Next, there's another story, let's continue to see it. Today's story is both heartrending and heartwarming and it underscores the incredible impact of compassion and community spirit. In the sprawling urban landscape of Los Angeles, massive concrete embankments line the river, designed to contain the rising waters during heavy rains. These embankments, while effective at flood control, pose a dangerous trap for any creature unlucky enough to fall in, as the steep, smooth surfaces make escape nearly impossible. In one of the less affluent neighborhoods through which this river runs, Local residents observed a distressing sight in the dry riverbed. A dog, curled up in a ball, clearly in distress. Upon closer inspection, they realized the animal was a German shepherd, noticeably underweight and showing signs of age with patches of gray in his fur. The residents were immediately concerned but found themselves at a loss for how to help. The dog was too far down the embankment to reach by hand, and even a ladder wouldn't have been sufficient for a rescue. The community, despite not having much themselves, showed remarkable empathy for the stranded animal. They named him Biggie and took turns providing him with food, tossing it down to make sure he wouldn't go hungry. Yet, as days passed, Biggie's situation grew more desperate, and the residents' worry intensified. Multiple calls for help had been made, but it wasn't until the neighbors contacted the rescue organization Hope for Paws that a response came. Eldon Hagar, the founder of Hope for Paws, received the call. Known for his dedication to helping animals in need, Eldon was unfortunately out of town at the time. However, understanding the urgency of the situation, he immediately made plans to assist as soon as he landed back in Los Angeles. Upon his arrival, Eldon and a team of rescuers rushed to the scene. What happened next was a profound testament to the power of kindness and the human-animal bond. As Eldon approached, 
he cautiously extended his hand and gently stroked Biggie's head. In response, the dog did something that touched the hearts of millions. With a look of immense relief and a tail wagging weakly, Biggie allowed Eldon to harness him and, with the help of the team, was finally hoisted out of his concrete prison. This remarkable rescue not only saved Biggie's life but also highlighted the resilience and compassion of a community that refused to ignore the suffering of a helpless animal. Biggie's story, captured on video and shared worldwide, moved countless people to tears and served as a powerful reminder of the impact one act of kindness can have. When Eldon returned home, he immediately knew he couldn't linger. Biggie, a German shepherd or possibly a mix of the breed, was alone and frightened and Eldon was determined not to leave the large dog in distress any longer than absolutely necessary, as he waited for his flight to board. He began to coordinate the rescue operation, although the full details of what the rescue would entail were unclear, Eldon was proactive in ensuring Biggie would have a secure place to live once they saved him. He discovered that all the foster families typically willing to take in big dogs on behalf of Hope for Paws were at capacity, with no room to accommodate another large breed. Understanding Biggie's need for a safe space to recover. Eldon reached out to his contacts at Coastal German Shepherd Rescue. Fortunately, Tiffany Norton from the organization agreed to take in Biggie immediately after the rescue. Upon landing, Eldon took a taxi home, where he quickly dropped off his bag, grabbed his keys, and headed out with his rescue vehicle to the location he had previously arranged to meet his team. There, he found a group of concerned individuals staring down at Biggie who lay on the ground, appearing sad and miserable. Eldon's heart ached at the sight, but he was soon faced with a logistical challenge. The riverbed where Biggie was located was much further down than anticipated, making it difficult to reach him with the equipment they had. Despite not wanting to leave Biggie out there for another night, the task of getting down to him was daunting. Some volunteers offered their ladder to complement his own. They planned to tie the two ladders together, despite one being slightly broken. To make it long enough to reach the bottom, the plan to get Biggie back up involved placing him in a large rescue crate, securing it with ropes, and carefully hoisting him to safety. It wasn't going to be a comfortable experience for Biggie, but it was necessary for his well-being. The moment came for Eldon to descend the makeshift ladder, despite his fear of heights and the instability of the ladder. He knew he had to overcome his anxieties to rescue Biggie. It was going to be much harder than he expected but his determination to help Biggie outweighed his fears. Eldon had always been wary of ladders, a fear stemming from a troubling incident in his childhood. At the tender age of six, without his parents' knowledge or consent, he had ambitiously attempted to scale a tall ladder. Reaching the top, he looked down to gauge the height he had conquered, but the sudden turn threw him off balance. Miraculously, he fell without breaking any bones. Though the impact left him severely bruised, more distressingly, as he hit the ground, he bit his tongue so severely that it was punctured, causing him to bleed profusely, panicked and in pain. He managed to find his parents, who immediately rushed him to the hospital. There, he was treated with antibiotics and painkillers, and doctors advised a diet of soft foods for several weeks to allow his tongue to heal. This childhood trauma explained Eldon's deep-seated aversion to climbing down ladders. However, his current mission to rescue Biggie, a frightened dog, forced him to confront his fears. As he approached the task, the sound of the crate and ladder being positioned startled Biggie, causing the dog to bolt into the river. Eldon knew this rescue wouldn't be easy, especially with a terrified dog. Opting for a patient approach, he sat quietly on the cement, giving Biggie time to acclimate to his presence without making any sudden movements that might scare him further. Gradually, Biggie began to inch closer to Eldon. Eventually, the dog was close enough for Eldon to extend his hand. As he gently stroked Biggie, the dog visibly relaxed, soaking up the love and attention he was receiving. It was evident that Biggie was a gentle giant, and there was no need to worry about aggression. However, the moment Eldon attempted to leash him, Biggie's fear resurfaced, and he scampered off once again. Another rescuer took over the task of holding the leash, allowing Eldon to soothe Biggie by stroking his head, encouraging him to close his eyes while the leash was fastened. As Eldon continued to comfort him, a remarkable moment unfolded that touched the hearts of many. Tears began to roll down Biggie's eyes, a poignant reflection of the trust and relief he felt being cared for so gently by his rescuer. Tears streamed down his face as he experienced the gentle touch of someone showing him love. It was a profound moment that deeply moved him.
stirring emotions that hinted at a possibly tumultuous past we could only guess at. Thankfully, he was now in safe hands, those committed to aiding his recovery and well-being, with his eyes shut, perhaps in trust or relief. The rescuers carefully secured a leash around him, guiding him towards a waiting crate. Surprisingly, he entered the crate without any hesitation, settling down comfortably, a sign of his complete relaxation and trust in his rescuers. The journey back was smooth, even as they navigated the crate up an embankment, maneuvering it carefully over a fence at the top. Throughout this ordeal, the dog remained calm and composed, lying patiently as he awaited the next steps of his rescue. Eldon, one of the rescuers, had to climb out of the area again, but the courage displayed by the dog in such a stressful situation inspired him to muster bravery of his own. This mutual exchange of strength was a touching highlight of the rescue operation. Now, the dog, affectionately named Biggie, is recuperating in a foster home. His future looks bright as he is on the path to finding a loving, permanent home where he can live out the remainder of his life in peace and security. In this new chapter, Biggie will never have to worry about his safety again. After watching this story, what do you think of it? Let's expect what will happen in the next story. Dogs are known for their remarkable loyalty, and one particular story from Bahia Blanca, Argentina, truly exemplifies this trait. Jesus Huache, a fervent animal lover, had always dreamed of having a pet. He and his wife, who shared his passion for animals, envisioned the perfect family pet as either a small dog to keep them company or a cat that would offer some independence while they were at work. However, in the early days of their relationship, living in cramped apartments meant that owning a pet was not feasible. Over time, as their love blossomed, they moved in together and eventually married. As young people in their 20s, they initially settled in an affordable apartment where pets were not permitted, but they didn't give up on their dream. After saving diligently, they were able to put a down payment on their own home, complete with a yard, in their late 20s. This move made Jesus's childhood dream a potential reality and they planned to adopt a pet once they were settled. Meanwhile, in another part of the city, a Labrador retriever mix had escaped from her home. Shortly after her escape, she gave birth to puppies and cared for them on the streets. The puppies, accustomed to human interaction thanks to their mother's friendly nature, learned to trust humans, often receiving food and affection from passers-by. As the puppies grew older and became independent, they dispersed in search of food. During this time, Rescuers found the mother and most of her puppies, unaware that one had wandered off. They managed to reunite the mother with her original family thanks to a microchip, and the other puppies quickly found loving homes. One young pup, however, was left to fend for himself. He returned to the spot where his family used to be, only to find them gone. Around this time, Jesus and his wife, now settled in their new home, noticed the young dog in their neighborhood. He wasn't the type of pet they had originally envisioned but his need for a home and their capacity to provide one created a perfect match. This story not only highlights the loyalty and resilience of dogs but also the kindness and adaptability of those who choose to open their homes to pets in need. It's a beautiful reminder of the unexpected ways in which animals can enter and enrich our lives. Originally, Jesus and his wife had envisioned getting a smaller puppy or perhaps a cat. But their plans changed when they encountered a sizable Labrador mix. This dog was already quite large and showed every sign of growing even bigger. Despite their initial hesitation, the dog's friendly demeanor won them over. Whenever they called him, he would wag his tail eagerly and approach them. He demonstrated good manners, sitting politely to receive food and taking it gently from their hands. The couple had seen the dog over a few days while they were settling into their new home. Each time they stepped outside, he was there patiently waiting for their return, Jesus quickly grew fond of the dog, although he knew they had agreed to delay getting a pet, he wanted to respect his wife's wishes, but it pained him to leave the dog on the street, about a week after moving in, Jesus was returning from work and had brought a sandwich for the dog, but he couldn't find him anywhere, he drove around the usual spots with no luck, distressed and disappointed, he returned home, worried he would be preoccupied with thoughts of the dog all night, when he arrived, he called his wife, who informed him she was in the backyard. As he walked through the house to meet her, he was met with a delightful surprise. There his wife stood, with the dog right beside her, adorned with a bow around his neck. She had seen how much her husband had grown to love the dog and decided it was time they welcomed him into their family permanently. She had already picked up dog supplies, a cozy bed for him, and even some dog shampoo. That evening, the couple gave the dog a bath, named him Tony 
and provided him a sumptuous meal, Tony settled into his new dog bed that night, placed inside their room. From that moment, Tony became an inseparable part of their lives, particularly bonding with Jesus, who often referred to him affectionately as his son. They pampered him as if he were their child, grateful to give him the loving home he deserved, having spent months on the streets. Tony quickly adapted to his new life as a cherished pet. He developed a cheeky and playful personality, especially enjoying games of fetch with Jesus. Tony's transformation from a street dog to a beloved family member was complete, bringing joy and companionship to his new home. Jesus had an array of soft toys to play with, and his family ensured he went for walks every day. These strolls often took him past his old neighborhood, a poignant reminder of his past. Yet he was comforted by the knowledge that he was returning to his warm, loving home. To make his summers more enjoyable, they even set up a small swimming pool for him to splash around in. Jesus truly had everything he could wish for, however, there was one boundary his human mother set firmly, each night, as she prepared for bed with her routine of cleansing her face and winding down, Jesus, and his canine companion Tony, would often sneak into bed before her. By the time she was ready to sleep, she would find Tony comfortably sprawled next to Jesus, occupying her spot in the bed, although she joked about sleeping on the dog instead. A gentle nudge was all it took for Tony to obediently make space for her. Tony was not just a pet but a cherished member of the family, loved by everyone. At the same time, Jesus was adjusting to the responsibilities of being a homeowner, unlike living in an apartment. Maintaining a house required spending free time and weekends on chores and home improvements. They had a garden to tend and endless tasks to keep up with, yet they cherished every moment of it. When Jesus took a few days off from work, since his wife couldn't take the same days off, they stayed home. Rather than resting, Jesus decided to catch up on some overdue home maintenance. He enjoyed spending these days with Tony, who would lazily accompany him wherever he worked. During this time, Jesus embarked on a significant project, pruning the trees in their yard. Everything was going smoothly until he reached the garden at the front of their house, with Tony by his side. Jesus felt confident and secure that the dog wouldn't stray. As he was cutting a few branches, disaster struck. Without warning, the branch he was on gave way, and he tumbled to the ground, losing consciousness upon impact. If he had been alone, the situation could have been dire, but fortunately, his neighbors witnessed the fall and immediately called emergency services. What came next was truly astonishing and highlighted the remarkable bond between Jesus and Tony. When Jesus woke up, he immediately became aware that he was lying on the ground. To his surprise, he found a considerable weight pressing down on him. It was his dog, Tony, who was sprawled across him, tightly hugging him. The visibly distressed dog appeared to be petrified at the thought of losing his beloved owner. In his fear, Tony clung tightly to Jesus, pressing his body against him without leaving his side even for a moment. As the situation unfolded, paramedics arrived at the scene. They quickly assessed Jesus and decided to secure his neck with a brace, concerned that he might have sustained a serious neck injury. Throughout the examination and as they administered care, Tony remained steadfastly by his owner's side a testament to his unwavering loyalty. When it was time to transport Jesus to the hospital, the paramedics helped him into the ambulance. Tony, in his undying loyalty, attempted to follow Jesus into the vehicle. Unfortunately, due to space constraints, he couldn't accompany his owner. Neighbors stepped in to take care of Tony, promising to look after him until he could be reunited with his family. Thankfully, the injuries Jesus sustained were not severe, and his recovery was swift. It wasn't long before he was able to return to his devoted dog and his wife. Tony was overjoyed to see that his favorite person was alright, his tail wagging vigorously with relief and happiness. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope you join us again for more incredible stories like this one. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumb up. See you next time.